let's say um, I, I give you um, a rectangle like this. Um, this is three and this is seven. Well, the the area of this rectangle. Um, well, remember, area area means um, means the amount of space something takes up. So basically, the area of this is like a measure of how much space this thing takes up. Well, to work out the area of this, you would get uh, get this number times by times by this number. But base basically, you you would get the the uh, the, the height of something and then you, you drag it across here so you, you basically get the height times by this that that will um, that would give you the the measure of the area okay so if, if I give you a rectangle like this uh, it could be any rectangle um, if this 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 could be any length I'm just going to say a this here could also be any length I'm going to say B Okay, so the area, the area of this um, this shape here is basically uh, a b. So you just get a whatever this number is, and then you times times with a b. Um, so the area of this is a b. So a b next to each other means times. Okay, so um, so if, if if I give you this this thing here, this rectangle here, but but then this rectangle this rectangle I'm going to I'm going to split it like this. So, so the this length here is a, okay. Um, this uh, this length from from here to here, I'm going to say it's b, okay. From here to here, I'm going to say it's c. Well, the area of this, uh, the area of the whole rectangle, what well, actually just just look at the area of the um, of the left uh, th this area here, the one on the left. Basically, the, the, the area on, on the left is A times B, isn't it? So you get A times B. So this area here is AB. And the area on the right, well, you would get the height here, which is A, and then you times it by, by this length here. You, basically, it's AC. Okay? So the, the area of the rectangle is given by AB plus AC. Okay? Um, if you look at this here, um, this this length is a, and then you got to times it by this whole length for the whole rectangle. So basically, this the, this length here, the one on the top, is actually b plus c, okay, for the whole length. So so what I'm saying is that it, if you if you if you look at the whole rectangle, it would be a times b plus c basically this thing here you've got to do first you got you got to add b plus c together first to get the whole length and then you would times it by a so what i'm saying is if you get a and then re remember because because you've got to you've got to add b plus c first to to get the whole length you've got to you've got to put it into brackets basically like this so basically this is saying work out the whole length first and then times it by a to get the whole rectangle okay but uh, Another way of looking at it, so so basically, the uh, you get the whole length and then you times a. That's one way. Another way is to do what we did at the start: is to get to work out two rectangles like this, uh, a times b. Okay, we'll give you this rectangle. So so that basically equals that, and then you add it to this rectangle uh, plus a c. So basically, here we've got two different ways of looking at it. One way is to get is to uh, to to basically add the the whole length first, which is uh, this bubble here. Uh, so yeah, we are we are basically looking at two ways. Uh, one is this one, and the second way is looking at it like this. The second way is to to work out the area of this rectangle, and then work out the area of this, and then add the two. This is our second way. Second, this is our first way. The first way is to work out the, the whole length first and then times it by a. So, so what I'm saying here is wh when someone gives you something like a, b plus c in brackets, you have to do this. You have to get this times this, okay, and then this times this. So basically, uh, this times this is actually a, b, okay, and then get this times this, which is plus a, c. Okay, so uh, quick recap: uh, A, B, 
and this is C. Okay, if someone gives you A, uh, B plus C, well, remember B plus C is this length here, and then times it by A here, that will give you the whole area. But if, if someone gives you this, just do this A times B, so it's AB. So basically, A times B would give you AB here, and then you've got to you, you've got to add it to this as well. So now do this A times C. So basically A times C, which should give you AC. So basically, yeah, so plus AC. Okay? Remember this, this is quite important. So when you have brackets, get A times B and then A times C. Alright?